everybody, Uncle Scott back on the Quirky Channel doing some reactions. And as promised, I'm bringing in more people to check out Ren. Today, we have Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Hi, how's it going? It is going great. Uh, and to be clear, you've never seen Ren before, correct? Never, never seen, heard of. It is a full blind reaction here. Love it. Um, and so what I've been telling people in some of the other videos is that when I bring in people, a lot of other people do like musicians to introduce to Ren. Like you've got to, I mean, you are a musician because you sing in a choir, right? Absolutely. I've been in a choir for about five years. My background is when I was five, I played the piano and been in some form of choir ever since. When TC Davis was in like all of the choirs over there. So I, music is something very near and dear to my heart. Awesome. So this is going to be. And also you act a little bit too, right? So Yeah, like, moved here because Broadway, baby. <laughs> right. Yeah, um, for, yeah. For those on the channel who don't know, we're in New York City. So that's where obviously Broadway is. And there's just all these musical theater people all around. And uh, mm. oh, Jackie, the one big thing I wanted to tell you yeah. is that uh, you know who Andrew Lloyd Webber is, of course. Of course. And, yeah. He said that Ren is the greatest storyteller he's ever seen. Oh, wow. That's yeah. high praise. This is what I'm saying. For oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> any of the audience who doesn't know, Andrew Lloyd Webber wrote like Phantom of the Opera and P.A. Yesu, like a lot of things like that. So uh, anyway, let's just get to it. I don't want to like keep chatting it up. Let's get you right to, here we go. Bring it on. Uh, and uh, I'm so excited for you that you get to see this for the first time. All right, let's do it. Hi, Bren. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself since my therapist told me I'm ill. And I've been making some progress lately. And I've learned some new coping skills. So I haven't really needed you much, man. I think we need to just step back and chill. Bren, you sound more insane than I do. You think that those doctors are really there to guide you? You've been through this a million times. Your civilian mind is so perfect to always be lied to. Okay, take another pill, boy. Drown yourself in the sound of white noise. Follow this 10 step program. Rejoice. All your problems will be gone. Fucking dumb boy. Nah, mate. This time is different, man. Trust me. I feel like things might be falling in place. And my music's been kind of doing bits too. Like I actually might do something great And when I'm gone, maybe I'll be remembered For doing something special with myself That's why I don't think that we should talk, man Cause when you're with me, it never seems to help You think that you can amputate me? I am you, you are me, you are I, I am we We are one, split in two, that makes one, so you see You gotta kill you if you wanna kill me I'm not left over dinner, I'm not scraps on the side oh, Alright, so you're like two and a half minutes in Yes. Um, initial reactions when I was first watching uh, just the guitar, it blended so many different styles of music. And then he just came out with a rap. And it's like, wow, I had no idea where this was going. This is right. incredible. It's it's it truly shows a breadth of um his knowledge on all the different styles of from like very Spanish influence to then jazzy to improv. It's 
it one, some of my favorite genres of music or types of music blend different genres together, right? So like think Linkin Park and Jay-Z when they had their collaboration. It's it's something like that that is so unique to me. It it's 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 I'm blown away. And um I really like how he is setting up this song as a conversation with himself. I mean, I think most of us can stand to do a little bit more inner child work. Um, I'm personally going through that myself. So this is really hitting an emotional space for me um, because he is talking, one side of him is talking very destructively and I tend to do that as well. And the other side is like trying to ease it off a little. And so it's storytelling at its finest. Yeah, especially anybody who's like creative. Uh, mm -hmm. I think a lot of us have these battles in our head, mm -hmm. uh, which he's expressing. Uh, two things I want to say really quick. Any His fans are called Renegades. And mm -hmm. any Renegades who are watching this are already so excited for you, for yeah. you to find out more about Ren yeah. that you said a combination of Linkin Park and Jay-Z. Mm -hmm. Because Ren is, this is, we're just hitting the tip of the iceberg here. Yeah. Also, I don't know if you noticed, do you see the love? on his gown he's performing this live like this is a live I did performance. not notice that at all wow yeah so it's not a one take because they okay. had multiple cameras sure but, the, but what you're watching now is one take with multiple cameras until the very end and then they use like the third or fourth take or something like that but, okay I, I have to be honest in the beginning when he was playing i i said to myself oh the audio like feels different than something that's more commercially produced after like mm -hmm. it goes through all of the things that it needs to go through um and so i did catch a little bit of that but no i did not put two and two together <laughs> that he was doing this live which is even more amazing yeah and think about like all Authentic. the production that goes along with it like they're mm -hmm. doing the lights and everything in real mm -hmm. time that's all real time mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. all right i'm gonna back it up for you a little bit and uh, we'll get right back into it. I don't want you to miss anything. There we go. Oops, I hit the wrong button. That you can amputate me. I am you, you are me, you are I, I am we, we are one. Split in two, that makes one. So you see, you gotta kill you if you wanna kill me. I'm not left over dinner, I'm not scraps on the side. Oh, your music is thriving, delusional guy. Where's your top 10 hit? Where's your interview with Oprah? Wow, your Grammys ran nowhere. Yeah, but my music's not commercial like that. I never chase numbers, statistics, or stats. I never write hooks for the radio, they never even play me. So why would I concern myself with that? But my music is really connected, and the people who find it respect it and for me that's enough because this life's been tough so it gives me a purpose i can rest in man you sound so pretentious ran your music is so self-centered no one wants to hear another song about how much you hate yourself trust me you should be so lucky having me inside you to guide you remind you to manage expectations provide you perspective that thing you neglected i get it you want to be a big deal next jimmy hendrix forget it Man, it's not like that. Man, it's just like that. I'm inside you, you twat. No, it's not, man. You're wrong. When I write, I belong. Let me break the fourth wall by acknowledging this song. Ren sits down, has a stroke of genius. He wants to write a song that was not done previous. A battle with the subconscious. Eminem did it. Played on guitar. Plan B did it. Man, you're not original. You criminal rip off artist. The pinnacle of your success is stealing other people's material. Ren, mate, we've heard it all before. Oh, she sells seashells on the seashore. Fuck you. I don't need you. I don't need to hear this. Cause I'm fine by myself. I'm a genius. And I will be great. And I will make waves. And I'll shake up the whole world beneath us. That's right. Speak your truth. Your fucking god complex leaks out of you. It's refreshing. To ask for you, say it instead of downplay it. Uh, music is all about the creative process, and if people can find something to relate to within that, then that's just a bonus. Fuck you, I'ma fucking kill you, Ren. I'ma fucking kill me, then let's fucking have you, Ren. I'ma do it, watch me prove it. Who are you to doubt my music? Cause I call the shots, I choose it. Die. Yeah, I call the shots, and so I choose who survives. I'll tie you up in knots when I lock you inside. All right, so I stopped it for a second. Because <laughs> I, I wanted to check in on you, but also I forgot to mention uh before like or i didn't ask like you get that he's like doing this almost like split part like he's talking correct. to himself inside his own thing right yeah correct yeah it almost feels like one is the artist and the other one is like the demon inside him like messing around with this imposter syndrome and it's just to see the struggle of like no i'm actually trying to do a thing i'm not commercial i don't care about likes i really want to be about the music and then having the demon saying like well these other people did it so what makes you so special and like 
how many times a day do I, you, we just have that negative self-talk? And it's, it's really emotional because you can see the pain in his eyes and it's making me a little emotional because he's trying so hard to push through those voices. And it's yeah. really evocative and emotional. Yeah, and I mean, if it starts to bring out emotion, don't be embarrassed because I don't know anybody <laughs> who doesn't at least get teary-eyed watching this. So I definitely you're, did. <laughs> you're in you're in great company, trust me. Uh, all right, I'll back it up a little bit, but okay. he's about to do a whole nother kill thing. it. <laughs> You'll see. Okay. Fucking have you, Ryan? I'm gonna do it. Watch me prove it. Who are you to doubt my music? Cause I call the shots, I choose who die. Yeah, I call the shots, and so I choose who survives. I'll tie you up in knots when I lock you inside. <sighs> Newsflash I was created at the dawn of creation. I am temptation. I am the snake in Eden. I am the reason for treason, beheading all kings. I am sin, with no rhyme or reason. Son of the morning, Lucifer, Antichrist, father of lies. Mustopheles, truth in the blender, deceitful pretender, the banished avenger, the righteous surrender. When standing in front of my solar eclipse, my name is stitched to your lips. So you see, I won't bow to the will of a mortal, feeble and normal. You want to kill me? I'm eternal and mortal. I live in every decision that catalyzes chaos that causes division. I live inside death, the beginning of end. I am you, you are me, I am you, friend. Hi, Ren. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself and I've spent half my life ill. But just as sure as the tide starts turning, just as sure as the night has dawn, just as sure as the rain falls soon runs dry when you stand in an eye of a storm. I was made to be tested and twisted. I was made to be broken and beat. I was made by his hand, it's a part of his plan that I stand on my own two feet. And you know me, my will is eternal. And you know me, you've met me before. Face to face with a beast, I will rise from the east and I'll settle on the ocean floor. And I go by many names also. Some people know me as hope. Some people know me as the voice that you hear when you loosen the noose on the rope. And you know how I know that I'll prosper? Cause I stand here beside you today. I have stood in the flames that cremated my brain and I didn't once flinch or shake. So cower at the man I've become when I sing from the top of my lungs. I won't retire, I'll stand in your fire, inspire that me to be strong. And when I am gone, I will rise in the music that I left behind. Ferocious, persistent, a mortal like you, we're a coin to different sides. not done i'm gonna let it breathe a little bit that's but fine he's not done wow when i was 17 years old i shouted out into an empty room into a blank canvas that i would defeat the forces of evil and for the next 10 years of my life i suffered the consequences with autoimmunity illness and psychosis as i got older I realized there were no real winners and there were no real losers in psychological warfare, but there were victims and there were students. It wasn't David versus Goliath. It was a pendulum eternally swaying from the dark to the light. And the more intensely that the light shone, the darker the shadow it cast. Mm. It was never really a battle for me to win. It was an eternal dance. And like a dance, the more rigid I became, the harder it got. 
The more I cursed my clumsy footsteps, the more I struggled. So I got older and I learned to relax and I learned to soften and that dance got easier. It is this eternal dance that separates human beings from angels, from demons, from gods. And I must not forget, we must not forget that we are human beings. Wow, that's so powerful. I, oh, it's, I need a minute to process, you know? <laughs> you can absolutely take a minute because believe me, I get it. <laughs> like, yeah. You'll also notice like right now, I, I tell people that like right now he's taking off the lav mic mm. like as oh, part I... of the process, right? Mm -hmm. Like behind the letters. <laughs> he doesn't do anything unintentionally in his videos like correct trying to let you know like did you notice i did this like in live like because and it's not even braggadocious he's just like i'm telling you that it's, like this was an emotional like outpouring correct. Correct. It's not, I did not come across um, braggadocious at all. It came across super authentic and real and being like, I'm here trying to tell you something live. I'm not going to, like I said before, commercially process this. This is something that I'm speaking from the heart and it, it shows. I could not agree more about like what makes us human is the struggle, is the pain, is the, is the pleasure, is the happy, is the sad. Being able to feel all of these at once when he was, um, the demon and he was going through all of like his names and the lights flickering. It is so evocative of like the chaos that can go on in someone's mind. And when he talked about, he suffered from psychosis, like that's almost a visual representation of how I would view it. Um, so I've never had psychosis myself, but I, I, I can't imagine all the things that he's gone through and to take all of that trauma and turn it into this performative piece. Um, where he's blending musical genres as well as speaking. It is both um, musically like beautiful and then blending with um, the theatrics of it. And when you have those two things together, you can't take your eyes away from it. It's, I want more, like I need to know more about him. If that yeah. makes sense. <laughs> so I can give you some context for what she's specifically talking about here. Sure. Is for for something like 10 years, he was misdiagnosed and they thought he had all these mental problems. So they're giving him all these different kinds of medication mm. when it turned out he actually had Lyme disease. And so, Whoa. And so he was in, infected with Lyme disease as it was like tearing apart his body for that entire time until they figured out what it was. And like, right now he's in canada getting like stem cell treatment and everything else and he's Jeez. gonna be okay, okay and he's good. getting over it like now but like that's what this is all about like he went through all of that and while he's going through all of that he ha just happens to be a musical genius yeah and like because like i if like you said you kind of want to know more about him like yeah i'm hoping that uh you might want to see some more songs too because i can show you he's got he raps like, well, I, yeah. I mean, it, well, I, I mean, this is like, this doesn't even come close to okay. how well he raps. Like wow. it's insane. He's an amazing lyricist. He plays the piano. He composes all oh. his own beats. He plays wow. guitar as you saw, mm -hmm. like, and he has, uh, he's created his own kind of genre. And it's a, it's one I'm excited to show you because it's called like bardcore instead mm -hmm. of hardcore. Mm -hmm. um, and all the renegades will tell you that it's they know exactly what song I'm talking about. It's called The Tales of Jenny and Screech. Uh, but I'm telling you, it's this is you've just hit the tip of the iceberg here. Yeah, I think he's brilliant and I would like to see more for sure. <laughs> all right, guys, you heard it. I think I'm gonna be able to get Jackie to come back and do more videos. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh that'll do it for our uh you know reaction here to uh high ren. Jackie, thank you for. Thank you. With me. Seriously. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I was able to introduce you to him. And uh, as always, remember everybody don't wait for life to get easy to be happy.